Welcome back to the 13th episode of a nostalgia playthrough of Close Combat 3, the Russian Front. And uh, this time around we are in Stalingrad, I believe this is. Um, let's see. Rattenkrieg Stalingrad. The fight for Stalin city. Uh, the direct translation would be Rat War Stalingrad, but uh, whatever. So let's see if we can get any interesting tanks. Uh, not really. I don't really want that captured T-34. But on a later, we can get the Panzer IV F-2 if we sacrifice a lot to be able to afford it. Uh, we would need another 66 points. How could we get that? I don't think it's in the it's in the cards for us. What we can do instead is maybe. Upgrade a half wits to um, yeah, shock troops. Why not? Get some shock troops in here and see what we can do with the mongoloids. Nothing, but we can maybe get another uh, mongoloid squad. Uh, I'm sorry, I mean a Schutzen squad. You know what? It's it's getting old. Poor guys. We can't keep calling them that. We're going to rename them. We're going to call this first heavy inf or first age inf short for heavy infantry. And it's going to be first. L inf for first light infantry and second L inf for second light infantry and we renamed the command tank to Panzer uh, for F2. And that's about all we can do. We don't have any more um, any more points left, so Alright, what I'm gonna do is um I think I'll kind of spread the 88s out a little bit here, so they're not... Oh, so, um... <clears throat> Jesus, I'm dry as hell in my throat, so... That's lovely. Uh, yeah, either way, uh, this way they won't be too susceptible to enemy mortar fire. And I just want them to kind of cover the open ground here. We'll have other tanks, other places to do other things. Like we now have a pencil for... F2s on like the middle area here. Well, we could have a Panzer IV here, as I have a little bit of a plan in the area. Uh, we'll have the heavy infantry, I think, just be there on the fend. We'll put the uh, second light infantry in here on the fend as well, and then first light infantry on the, infantry on the top here, as we will hopefully rush across and uh, see what we can do at some point. Maybe put the Panzer IV F2 here as well. Try to work together with these. Uh, so they don't kind of... You know, two guns are better than one, basically. That's uh, what I'm trying to get at. Uh, put the machine gun team in a four-story building here. So they have good reach on... Uh, pretty much the entire map, basically. And that's all we can do. Let's start. Ah, okay. It starts off with an artillery attack. Or barrage. Okay. That's a T-34 for sure. This guy might have shots on him if he... ...comes down here. Oh, it looks like we might actually have some shots on him indeed. Is that another T-34 though? Uh, oh, we got him, we got him, nice. Oh, it's a T-34 flame, even. That might be the flame tank that we saw earlier. But that would mean that we didn't kill it in the previous map. I'm hoping you can hear me over these explosions, at least on my end. Uh, these, these things are loud as hell. And uh, apparently they are going to keep going on for at least another half a minute. Oh, I see uh, there was something here. Some infantry there, okay. I think that's from the enemy. Yeah, we got incoming mortars, uh, but it's good. Let them waste the mortars. I'm fine with that. Man, is this artillery barrage gonna ever stop?
Is it over now? Imagine if you set time limit to 10 minutes, that'd be 20% of the map would be, uh, would be that artillery strike. But yeah, okay, they're throwing uh, mortars at these guys that are inside a building, which usually is very ineffective. So, we're just gonna let them waste their mortar shells, I'd say, and then we can maybe make some moves. Less risk to our infantry if their mortars are out of ammo. Let's see if we can hear where the shots are coming from. Apologies if uh, there's a loud humming sound right now. One of my neighbors are doing something uh, that he typically likes to do, which is being uh, noisy as hell and spreading that noise into the entire neighborhood. You know, just like a, a good neighbor should be doing. Uh, either way, uh, we're going to just move in here a little bit with our tanks and hope we don't run into too much dangerous stuff to take them out. I kind of want to catch this infantry in the open here and just kind of mow them down. With my tanks, if I can, that's not a T-34 though, can we... Maybe... I feel like these Panzer Force will be able to handle the, the T-34s. The 4D, not so much, but the 4 f 2s certainly should be able to. So, we're just... Advancing in. Oh, he hit something? Ah, oh, the group leader team took a casualty, for sure. Okay, that's T-34. Uh, who has shots on that? No one at the moment. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, just kind of cross the bridge together. I have the pencil 4D coming in behind, and we will we will just keep pushing. Uh, not so much with the infantry, because I'd rather not take casualties on my infantry if I can help it. If that me trying to be careful with the uh, infantry is going to lead to me taking casualties with the uh, tanks, though, then that's going to be a little bit more. Uh, crummy. Nothing expe- oh. Oh shit, the Pencil 4D took out half the T-34 crew. Oh, it's a flame tank. They have two flame tanks? That's a lot of requisition points right there. And I think the range of the flame tanks are like 60 meters. Yeah, okay, there goes the command team. Uh, can you get up? I said, hmm, they're struggling a little bit with the drain here, it seems. Yeah, the thing is, uh, I need to keep outside of the range of that flame tank. It could just kind of shoot forward. I'll be, like, uh, getting up here, and I'll, I'll have shots on it, and it will be just outside its uh, flamethrower range. So, yeah. Yeah, we got, like, 10 meters to spare. Plus, half the T-34 crew is dead, so... I can't really go any closer to it. It's not gonna be good for me. Oh, he's angling his tank. That makes it harder to go through. Um, SP. I'm wondering if that is steel penetration shells. Uh, oh, there's a, there's a name. Steel... Panzergranate? I don't know. It uh, does this um, somewhat iconic German uh, tank ammunition. Uh, that's like it had it was like a steel penetrating thing. Uh, I'll just move this guy over here. We'll move in with the Panzer 4 F2s. Just try to clear the back area out. See if we can find that mortar team and just take it out. That's just being a um, little bit annoying. Oh, not gonna lie. Well, I mean, it, it isn't really. It's not really doing anything. Uh, but I. Look at that! Look at that! They lost patience! Okay, we're just gonna have to switch them to ambush and then defend so they don't lose patience and start moving in stupidly. What is this? It's First Light Infantry! It's the Mongoloids! It's the Mongoloids! They're still... You give them a new name, you can't teach an old dog new tricks, right? They're still the goddamn Mongoloids. I, I, I can't, I can't. I'm gonna just wait for the music to be over. Alright, yeah, so, um, the Mongoloids are still living up to their name, so I just can't, in good conscience, actually call them First Light Infantry, because they're doing Mongoloid shit all the damn time. Like, five minutes into the game, they're already like, nah, I don't have any patience, let's not wait. What is this? Just stick around there for a second. Live through the war. Why don't you? Jesus. 
So yeah, they're, they're getting the, the old name back. They're gonna be the Mongoloids. It's, it's, it's settled. They will never have another name ever again. They will not be first or second or anything. In, it will be the Mongoloids. But either way, uh, good start here. We capture the flame tank. We destroy the flame tank. There's a lot of requisition points just poof, gone. Took three prisoners. I'm hoping that that is the uh, enemy mortar team and that they, does, uh, that they don't get a new one. Wounded five, killed four. I uh, guess mainly tank crews. And, uh, well, that that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, I'd appreciate if you would leave a like on the video. Maybe even subscribe for future content if you haven't already. Of course, no pressure. And you can anyway, either way, catch me in the next episode. So, have a good one.